She is a carnival queen. One of the premier mass players in any country. And we're meeting the queen of queens right now, Joella Crichton. Carnival for me is an opportunity to be free and express myself creatively. Carnival is an expression of my ego. Each individual representing specific bands will compete against each other to be crowned the king or the queen. The king and queen really is the ultimate. People see it as the Olympics of Caribbean culture. And I won it for the seventh time in a row. That's nine times winning. Nobody has done what she has done. It's really, really difficult to do what she's done. And I don't think people really get how much of a feat that is. This year's costume is called Harmony. The inspiration comes from the theme of the band, which is love. Hopefully it's a winner, guys. Two people vying for queen of this year's Toronto Carnival. We've got the seven-time reigning champ and the challenger over here. Should Joella win this year, this would be her 10th winning performance. Nobody in the history of Toronto Carnival has won 10 queens. If I don't win, I'm done. I already promised that to you. The decision was made that this would be her last time playing queen. Since it'll be the last time Joel's doing it, it'll be my last two, and it'll be all cute, sister, sister. As I begin to win more, I feel unwelcomed. It was really clear that I need to leave because this is not about mass anymore. There's this rivalry because everybody wants to win. They're coming for you. They're coming. <laughs> I know. This is the big test, eh? Joella has people watching her, paying attention to her. There's a lot of pressure to it. I don't think this is a winning costume as it stands right now. It does feel like I left a legacy, and I'm happy with it.